The supporters agree the economic timing is unfortunate, but the fixes can't wait. South Portland and Gray New Gloucester. Much different school districts, but similar desires for their dilapidated athletic facilities. So these are needs. This is not a vanity project. You know, it's just sad for a community and a program of this magnitude and the size that we can't house our athletes in an appropriate venue. South Portland Athletic Director Todd Livingston is giving a site tour to a group of voters. They find a rundown stadium field and a track with holes in the lanes that hasn't been renovated in 57 years. It, it's not right when we have to send a state championship track team to another high school to play a home meet. That's not what South Portland wants, I think, for our student athletes. Atop the list for both schools, permanent bathrooms to replace porta potties. But passing the bond in both communities comes with a price. Yeah, these projects are not inexpensive. I try to be respectful of that in conversations with folks. It is a big ask. The reality is the need is not going away. If you really break it down on how the bond is on this, um, it breaks it down to for a $700,000 home. It's $14 a month. It breaks it down to for the first year of the bond goes into effect. So $14 a month, I'm willing to put that towards our kids. Along with improvements to the athletic fields, Greater Gloucester is looking for a new auditorium and gym. The current gym does not meet NFHS standards. Two years ago, an opposing player broke his arm running into a wall. Athletic director Nate Priest has seen the facilities affect the morale of the students. First thing that our student athletes see as they walk into the facility or porta potties. A visiting team pulls up, the first thing that they see is porta potties. You know, opposing teams have nicknames for us. I'm not going to repeat on camera, but uh, it's not flattering, we'll put it that way. 